Recording videos. To keep the production of videos as efficient as possible, your main goal during recording should be to reduce the amount of time spent on editing afterwards. Plus, there is some general advice. I'll start with some technical preparation, point out some issues to avoid during recording, then, maybe most importantly, talk about some ideas of what to do during recording to be able to edit the video quickly. Finally, there's some advice for those sitting alone in their studio. First of all, don't set your mobile phone to silent, but set it to flight mode or switch it off. Otherwise, an incoming call may still lead to radio frequency interference in the microphone. You may already have heard that dee did dee dee did noise. Before starting every recording, have a look at the volume meter of your program or of the camcorder. Is the voice too loud or too quiet? And possibly some position has shifted ever so slightly, so that suddenly you get pop noise, such as this. Or breathing becomes audible, such as this. Too often I thought I have created several minutes of great video, only to notice afterwards that I forgot to press the record button. Better check. When you're recording can style videos, it's friendly to immediately have something on the screen to catch the viewer's eyes. This means that you have to start writing or drawing before you press the start button. It is also friendly to not show the window frames and menus of the presentation program. If you are using drawing software as a virtual whiteboard, make sure to keep toolboxes out of the screen recording or, even better, only use keyboard shortcuts to switch between different tools. There are some simple things you can do during recording to speed up editing afterwards. If you are using several recordings in parallel, for instance two camcorders plus a screen recording program, you have a hard time getting those recordings in sync. That's far easier with the device used for the movies, the clapperboard. In a similar fashion, you can draw a quick stroke on the screen and at the very same moment say a word with a clear beginning, such as B. And then you can do much to help with cutting. Pauses are easy to find and edit out, so don't hesitate to make a pause and think about what to say next. Pauses are also ideal for editing out mistakes. Don't repeat from the middle of a sentence. You may use clapping or a bell to mark a good take or a bad one. Such acoustic markers are easily visible in the waveform displayed for the audio track. And finally, make sure that you are looking into the camera for two seconds before you start to speak and for two seconds after you have stopped speaking. If you are sitting alone in the studio, you tend to sound and look like that too. A simple method against this is to put the drawing of a smiley or a person's photo next to the camera. A far more effective method is to invite at least one person to be your live audience. For best results you look at him or her while you are presenting. With an audience it's easier to be a little more theatrical, just as needed for the stage. If you are alone you need to make sure to quote speak unquote commas, periods and question marks by making pauses and by using an appropriate melody. The icing on the cake is to emphasize words that deserve it. 